Good morning, everybody. It is a beautiful Saturday morning, and I'm going to do something fun. We're going to make a crepe buffet. It's just me and the younger kids here today. Titus and the boys are working on some fences and doing some stuff with some cattle and all today. So it's probably just going to be me and the younger kids here most of the day. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to mix this in a blender. The recipe that I'm using for the crepes, you don't have to refrigerate it. I know a lot of recipes it says to refrigerate it for at least 30 minutes. So if you want to use one of those recipes, you could totally make this the night before and just stick it in the refrigerator. Then it would be ready for you the next morning. <laughs> The kids are over there watching the Flintstones. And here's Manly. He's coming to show me something. What you got? He's been eating a banana. Oh, you want to see the baby? There he is. What do you want? What? Another nana? Thank you. A lot of y'all asked last time where we watched the Flintstones at. I actually purchased a season of the Flintstones on YouTube. But a lot of y'all said that there's a thing called Me TV. I think. I think that's what y'all said it was called that has the Flintstones on it. The Flintstones was like my favorite thing on Saturday mornings as a kid. Flintstones and yes, Fruity Pebbles every Saturday morning. <laughs> okay, let's make some crepes. Here we go. We're gonna put half a cup of lukewarm water in our blender here. If everybody was home, I would double this recipe, but since it's just me and the younger kids, we're just gonna go with this today. Okay, one cup of warm milk, four eggs, Oh, splashy splash. <laughs> How many was that, y'all? Three? I think that was three. Okay, one more. One cup of all-purpose flour. Two tablespoons of sugar. And just a pinch of salt. And the last thing we're putting in is four tablespoons of melted butter. Unsalted. Alright, now we're just going to blend this up. scrape down the sides just a little bit here where it's sticking. Say pause, Manly wants to come in here with mama. Here we go. Yeah, now you can see what's going on. All right, now we're just gonna take this out and sit it over to the side and we're gonna melt just a little bit of butter. With the crepes, I'm just going to get a lot of fruit out and make some homemade whipped cream. And then I'll put out some maple syrup and peanut butter if anybody wants to do any of that. It's just going to be a cute little crepe buffet. It's going to be cute. Yeah. All right, we've got the butter spread around. We're just going to take a fourth of a cup of the crepe mixture and just pour it right in. When it starts to brown a little bit around the edges and look kind of dry, that's when it's ready to flip. I'm going to be using this little solid spatula here. I got this from Aldi. It was in that little bamboo utensil set I got there a few weeks ago. But it comes to a nice flat edge here, and I think it'll be easy to get up under here and flip them. There we go. It doesn't take very long on this other side at all because they're so thin. It's already pretty much done. You just want to put them on the other side for just a few seconds, about 30 seconds probably. All right, this one's ready. On to the next one. I'm going to turn the heat down just a little now, a little bit below medium. When we get finished with breakfast, I'm going to clean up and then we need to run to the store real quick. I need a few things. I got that one a little too brown there. But I need to get a few things from the store. I need some toothpaste, dish detergent, and also when we clean up from breakfast, we're going to run and do that real quick. And then when we get back, I'm going to be cleaning the house. up just a little bit of whipped cream. I was going to do the cream cheese whipped cream thing, but I think John and Audra will just like the whipped cream better with fruit, and I know John is probably going to want to put peanut butter and stuff on his, so I'm just going to do whipped cream. I don't really measure when I'm just doing a little bit here. I'm just going to put in probably about a cup, I guess, and just a little bit of sugar. 
just a little drop of vanilla. finished eating. The kids really love those. Jonah's already asked for a second one and when he finishes his he's gonna make a peanut butter one you said? He's gonna make a peanut butter one. I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning up and make my coffee. I was gonna just go through Dunkin Donuts when we went to Walmart but then I was like nah I'll just make my coffee here. <laughs> They're usually really really busy especially on Saturdays. Extremely busy so I'm just gonna make my coffee and get everything cleaned up. We have lots of whipped cream left over, so I'm gonna put some of this on top of my coffee and then I'll put the rest of it in a bowl and put it in the refrigerator. I think I can fit the strawberries and blackberries all inside one of these containers here. These are the ones that I got from the Dollar Tree. That was a very fun little Saturday morning breakfast. It would be fun for like a brunch or something. Brunch around here is called we slept a little bit late and so we're eating breakfast late. Brunch. <laughs> but it really is a fun little weekend breakfast. <laughs> There's always a volunteer to lick the spoon when it comes to whipped cream. All right, I'm gonna finish cleaning this up, get the baby ready while Jonah and Ultra finish getting ready, and we're gonna head to Walmart. and the bathrooms cleaned downstairs. I didn't have to clean the upstairs when I went up there to check it and the boys are actually keeping it pretty clean up there. So that's done. I still need to switch out the laundry but I'm trying to think about what I'm gonna make for supper. So I was gonna do this pork chop stuffing casserole. I thought I had a couple of boxes of stuffing in the cabinet but I don't. I must have used it for something and forgot that I used it. <laughs> So we'll just stop on our way home from church tomorrow and get a couple of boxes of stuffing and we'll have the pork chop stuffing casserole tomorrow, which means we'll switch tonight to the fine what you want night. That's what we usually do on Sundays most of the time. I have lots of stuff here. Soups, chips, salsa, sandwich stuff, grilled cheese with bacon. That's what I'm making. Grilled cheese with bacon. I've told y'all this before. My aunt had a restaurant for like as my entire childhood, as long as I can remember up until, I can't remember how many years ago it's been now since she retired, but she had a restaurant. My mama worked there, all my aunts worked there and I loved to get a grilled cheese with bacon. I would get that for breakfast and for lunch. She was only open for breakfast and lunch. So I would, a lot of times, that's what I would get at breakfast time and then other days I would get it at lunch time. It was so good. I've never been able to make it as good as she could make it. I need to just find out from my mama, how did she make the grilled cheese sandwiches there? 
I'm gonna call Titus and see if they're gonna be here for supper. And I'm gonna ask John and Audra if they want a grilled cheese with bacon. Yeah. The noise is Jonah's little deer over there. Manly loves to play with that deer. Jonah brought it down here for him earlier. And it it's like, it doesn't stop. It does not stop until you turn it off. I love it. You gotta throw the balls and they land in the little buckets on his antlers. Oh, you're gonna try to put the measure in? Oh! <laughs> you invented a new game, huh? Let's turn him off. I forgot how to turn it off. Oh, you mashed the hat. Okay, you mashed the hat. <laughs> Okay, let's make some bacon. I'm gonna put the french fries in the oven and I'm just gonna cook the bacon on the stove top. Tomorrow